Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronia and today's video is gonna be about the reasons why you might still be living paycheck to paycheck. Now, before I really start, I did want to throw a quick disclaimer in that I'm not specifically talking about people that are very, very low earners that really may be actually living hand to mouth. I'm definitely not talking about that in this situation. What I'm really talking about are people that may be having a consistent income that they technically could afford to live off, but for some reason, they still find themselves living paycheck to paycheck. So if you feel like you fall into this category then this video is going to be for you and so what I first wanted to do is really just understand what we mean by living paycheck to paycheck just to make sure we're on the same page so I've got something from Investopedia which says that paycheck to paycheck is an expression describing an individual who would be unable to meet financial obligations if unemployed hear the word unemployed those living paycheck to paycheck predominantly devote their salaries to expenses living paycheck to paycheck may also mean living with limited or no savings and refer to people at greater financial risk if suddenly unemployed than individuals who have amassed a cushion of savings. And so personally, when I'm really thinking about living paycheck to paycheck, what I would envision is if you basically have no savings at all, and if your expenses either match your income or it even exceeds your income, then you're probably going to be living paycheck to paycheck. And the question you would really need to ask yourself to figure out whether you are living paycheck to paycheck is how long could you survive if you actually lost your primary source of income. So for example, if you're currently working a job or maybe you even have a business, if you were to lose your primary source of income, so if you were to lose your job or maybe you didn't have any income coming from your business, how long could you actually survive for? And how long could you afford to still pay for your expenses? And if you find that you probably wouldn't be able to survive financially for a very, very long time at all, then you might be living paycheck to paycheck. And so because we understand the meaning behind living paycheck to paycheck, let's now talk about reasons why you might be living paycheck to paycheck in the first place. So the first reason why you might be living paycheck to paycheck is due to the fact that you only live for today and you forget about delayed gratification. And so before I even talk about this, some of you may be asking, what exactly do I mean by delayed gratification? And of course, I've got Wikipedia to explain this in more detail. So it says that delayed gratification or deferred gratification is the resistance to the temptation of an immediate pleasure in the hope of obtaining a valuable and long lasting reward in the long term. So in other words, delayed gratification describes the process that the subject undergoes when the subject resists the temptation of an immediate reward in preference for a later reward. And so in terms of what I mean by delayed gratification is that you are sacrificing a little bit of your today so that you can have a greater tomorrow. Now, why is that important? The reason being is because most people always just think about today without actually thinking about tomorrow. And when I'm talking about this in financial terms, what I mean is is that you are basically spending all of your money today without actually putting some money into your future. So without actually saving your money, maybe investing your money or even thinking about retirement. And so what that means is let's say you get paid 2000 pounds or dollars every single month and that is your consistent paycheck that you receive. However, what you find is that after you've actually paid your bills and you've actually spent all of your money, you have either spent that whole 2000 pounds or dollars or you might even be spending a bit more where you're actually using debt to finance your lifestyle. So technically you're actually spending 2000 500 pounds or dollars rather than the 2000 that you're actually earning every month. And so let me tell you an example because about three years ago, I was definitely in that same position. And so whenever I got paid, I had absolutely no savings. And so if you've actually watched some of my previous videos where I really talk about how I was able to pay off my debt, you would know that when it actually came to my net worth, so looking at my assets versus liabilities, I had no assets. So I had no savings, no investments, nothing whatsoever, but I had a lot of liabilities. So I basically had a lot of debt. And so so what that meant is that I was essentially living paycheck to paycheck. And so every single time I got paid, after I had paid for my rent and any other bills, I basically spent the rest of the money every single month. And so every time it got to the end of the month, and to be honest, sometimes it would get to halfway through the month, I would basically run out of money. And there were times where I even dipped into my overdraft because I had no money whatsoever. And if you're liking this video so far, then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel. Plus it's free. Now the biggest mistake that I made and a lot of people are 
currently making is that I was only focused on living for today. So I was not thinking about my future. I was not thinking about things like retirement or anything like that, which is super, super important. All I wanted to do was actually just live for today. And there was even a point in time where I was wondering why people were putting money into their pensions and actually putting money into their retirement accounts. Because I was always thinking, you know, I'm young, I'm in my early 20s. I don't need to worry about retirement until later on. And so what that meant is that I did not put any money into savings or investments or anything like that. And all my money was going towards my spending or it was actually going towards just paying my debts. And the reason why just living for today and not actually thinking about your tomorrow can be so detrimental is because most likely by God's grace, you are probably going to be living for a very, very long time. And as time goes, not only are you going to have to think about retirement, particularly if you feel that you don't want to depend on the government for your retirement, but you're also going to have to think about your individual lifestyle as well. So is there going to come to a point where you actually decide that you no longer want to work, but you can't afford to leave that job where you might even want to leave your current job for another job, which might pay less, but is likely to make you more happy. Or maybe you might want to cut your hours and actually work part time. Or who knows, you may even want to just quit your job altogether. But if you are consistently living paycheck to paycheck and you're not thinking about your future self in terms of what you might want to do in the next few years, then that's going to prevent you from making certain decisions later on in life. Because what you'll find is that 10, 20 years down the line, even though you may want to switch jobs or you may want to stop working, you can't afford to do that because you've been living paycheck to paycheck all this time and you haven't been investing for your future. Now, if the choice of not being able to work or actually have the option to do things that you really want to do sounds appealing to you, then definitely check out my free guide where I talk about my steps to really start working towards financial security, but also financial independence in the long term as well, so that you actually have the choice to be able to have the option of doing what you want to do when you want to do it. So definitely check out my free guide if you haven't already. I will of course link that up here for you and in the description below. But essentially, if you are only focused on your future and you have no thoughts about your tomorrow, then most likely you're probably going to still be living paycheck to paycheck. So the second reason why you might still be living paycheck to paycheck is because you may refuse to actually make certain sacrifices. Now, again, using myself as an example, I definitely fell short of this. So when I actually started having a paycheck, I decided that I was now going to get myself a new car because I pretty much deserved it. And I didn't particularly want to be driving my old car anymore because it was an old car and I'd had it for years. And I decided that I now deserve a new car because I'm now a working woman. And so what that meant is that actually instead of sacrificing a little bit and maybe getting a car that was a few years old, but was still a good runner that was probably going to be slightly cheaper, but still be quite valuable. I decided to get the car that I really wanted and that I really liked just because I thought that I could afford to get it. Now, am I saying that you should always be buying cheap things and that's it? I'm definitely not saying that. But what I'm saying is that really think about some of the sacrifices you could potentially be making in order for you to give yourself financial security. So for example, if you're living on your own, do you really need to be living in a two or three bedroom house? Could you potentially live in a one bedroom house? Or if you do actually have a two or three bedroom house or flat, could you then rent those rooms out so that you can actually make more money? And the reason why I'm specifically talking about housing costs is because that's probably going to be the biggest expense when you actually compare it to all of your other expenses and bills. I know it may not be the best thing starting out. So for example, in my case, I was actually living in something called a HMO, which is the house of multiple occupation, which basically meant that I rented out a room. And so I was actually sharing the house with other professionals. Yes, it wasn't an amazing experience. I'm not going to lie to you. Did you use my spatula? What? Did you use my spatula? No. But when I actually started working on my personal finances, I was able to save so much more money because I had actually chosen that housing situation. What I'm saying is just really think about some of your situations, whether it be transport, for example, you know, questioning whether you actually need a car or maybe you could just be using public transport for now. Or if you could think about your housing situation, those are probably going to be the two biggest expenses that you have. So really think about whether you can actually sacrifice this for now so that you can again have a better tomorrow. So the next reason why you might still be living paycheck to paycheck is the fact that you are always trying to keep up with the Joneses. And so what I essentially mean is that you are always trying to keep up with your friends or your neighbors or whoever it is. Now, again, I'm not going to lie. I have definitely fallen for this in the past. So again, using my car example, the reason why I decided that I wanted to get a new car was just because of when I was driving to work, I would see all of my colleagues driving these nice cars and I felt like my car was just not worthy of it. And so I decided I need to have a new car just because other people have nice cars. So I definitely get that peer pressure can be real and it's something that can be quite difficult to overcome. But the big mistake that I see is the fact that you're trying to keep up with appearances, you're going to end up being broke over time. And also you have to remember, you do not know everyone's situation, okay? So your 
friend that's maybe going on holiday all the time and has nice clothes, they could be up to their eyeballs in debt and you would never know. And so you really wanna be careful and when it comes to actually keeping up with your peers, really question yourself and ask if this is worth it. Is it worth you being broke for years to come where you no longer have the ability to actually slow down or take some time off or even go traveling because you are now up to your eyeballs paying all of these bills because you're always trying to keep up with appearances. So the fourth reason why you might be living paycheck to paycheck is because you are spending all of your money on liabilities rather than assets. Now, particularly if you are actually looking to build wealth and not live paycheck to paycheck anymore, then building assets probably should be a priority. Now, when I'm talking about assets, essentially what I'm saying, these are things that are probably going to put money into your pocket. So this might be your savings, for example, or it could be your investments. Whereas when it comes to liabilities, these are things that are probably going to take money out of your pocket. So this could be any consumer debt, like credit card debt. Maybe you've got a car loan, maybe you've got personal loans, or maybe you've got a mortgage. All of these things will probably be considered liabilities because they are taking money out of your pocket. Now, if you want to get a bit more understanding in terms of what assets and liabilities are, then definitely check out my video where I talk about that in a bit more detail. I will, of course, link that up here for you and in the description below. But a big reason why most people are actually living paycheck to paycheck is because they are up to their eyeballs in actually spending money on liabilities rather than assets. So you are basically just spending all of your money on things that are really just taking money out of your pocket or just not putting anything at all rather than building assets which are going to put money in your pocket. So actually investing your money and saving your money. And so if you're only spending money on basically liabilities, what you will find is that every single time you get paid, your money will just be going straight into those liabilities where that money has just been taken out every single time without fail and you're not actually making any money on that. Whereas if you were actually able to start building up assets, those assets could potentially end up paying for some of your expenses. Now the fifth reason why you might still be living paycheck to paycheck is because of the fact that you actually have no accountability. Now the reason why I wanted to say this point is because a lot of people probably won't actually be talking about their money situation because they may think that money is taboo or maybe they're just not comfortable in talking about their own situation. But the problem that you might find is because you haven't actually spoken about it to anyone whatsoever, what you could potentially find is that you are less likely to take action because you haven't actually been found accountable. And I definitely found this when I was trying to work on my own personal finances. There were times where instead of paying off my debt, I actually ended up spending money because I hadn't actually told anyone, you know, I actually need to pay this debt off by this certain date. And so no one was keeping me accountable. But when I actually then started to talk to people and particularly for me, I was actually talking to my partner, but it doesn't necessarily need to be a partner. It could be your close friend. It could be a parent. It could be a coach, whoever it is, at least if they can actually hold you accountable, you are probably more likely to actually take action and then focus on it. Because every single time that I wanted to spend money, I knew that I would basically have to go to my partner who is my husband now, but I would basically have to go to him and tell him, you know, I know I was supposed to pay off a certain amount of my debt, but I didn't for whatever reason. I'm actually more likely to take the action and do something about it because I know that someone else is watching me. So if you feel that a big reason why you're living paycheck to paycheck is because you feel like you freely have been able to spend your money without actually telling anyone, then maybe actually consider getting someone to make yourself accountable. Now, as a money coach, this is something that I definitely do with my own clients. So specifically with women, I help them when it comes to actually overcoming overspending and actually start spending intentionally and start saving more money and start investing. So if you do feel like you may benefit from coaching, then definitely check out my program. I will link it up here for you and in the description below. But regardless of who the person is, what you ideally want to be doing is thinking about being a bit more transparent so that they can understand where you're actually coming from and what you are trying to achieve so that they can consistently keep you accountable. So if you did like this video, then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments, what other reasons do you think might be causing people to still keep living paycheck to paycheck? I do post every Tuesday and Friday. So if you would like to know more, then of course you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on Tuesday.